forget about that uh, data center in Einigen, Germany from IBM. INQ has a Swiss quantum oh. data center. Yeah. Yeah. And another, another uh, data point for the expansion of American quantum around the globe. So, so what can I do there, Paul? Like, uh, how do I sign up? Like, what do I do? And yeah, this is a, uh, this is an interesting one. There's a uh, project in uh, quant called Quantum uh, Basel in Basel, Switzerland, obviously. And it's a, uh, a large project with nine buildings and uh, up to 50 companies that's being built, campuses. And uh, IONQ is involved. They're going to establish a uh, European, Middle East, Asia uh, data center in co connection with uh, Quantum Basel. And uh, they're going to deploy uh, two of their IonQ trapped uh, quantum computers. The first one will be um, what they call uh, algorithmic qubits. It's uh, 35 al algorithmic qubits. And then the second one will replace that. And it's going to be like 64 algorithmic qubits. And IonQ looks at the uh, algorithmic qubits as being qubits that are uh, uh, effectively usable within a within a, a, a quantum program. Uh, for instance, they've got a, a 32 qubit uh, machine now, Forte, and it's got 29 algorithmic qubits. So you know you lose a couple qubits due to errors and different things like that. So, uh, Gosh, Paul, qubits. you mean you mean all qubits are not the same? All hmm. qubits, are, well, all the qubits are the same. They just don't act the same. You know. So um, it'll be interesting because keep it's gone wild, Paul. Right? Pardon? Keep, keep it's gone wild. <laughs> yeah, <that's> right, yeah. <laughs> Along with dirt, dirty data. <laughs> Listen, Paul, Paul has written more than I have even made up on quantum about how to measure qubits. So yeah, I mean, and I think there's like four or five different ways to do that right now, Paul. Yeah, that's right. I'm uh, listed as I'm cited in the. Uh, Wikipedia on quantum volume, so that's that's my I can retire now. So <laughs> totally. But that's anyway, let me get back for every click, right? <laughs> anyway, IQ is going to have sixty-four uh, algorithmic qubits is going to be a large machine in terms of power. So it'll be interesting to see that they. Uh, I don't think they're going to have any trouble at all getting to uh, thirty-five. In fact. I believe, but uh, they haven't told me this, and uh, but I, I just suspect they probably got a 35 algorithm of qubits running in the, the lab someplace with customers testing it out. So, I love the competition. I love the innovation. I was a little afraid that generative AI would take all the take all the investment out of quantum. It might be too early to see, but <clears throat> we do have people with some pretty big uh, war chests uh, out there, and and you know the amount of federal uh, money going in there is is staggering and 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 really good yeah iq has got almost uh almost 600 million dollars in uh, cash cash equivalents investments so they've got enough money now to reach their uh their long-term roadmap goal so and this uh a deal with uh, quantum basil has added uh a couple of uh like maybe 25 million to their uh business expectations for uh for the year so Nice, years. nice. Yep. Gotta like that. 